Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Friday, October 14th, 2022. 35 degrees at 8.07 a.m. and I am your host, Fat Kamal. And I am a sinner. And I'm a tired sinner. And I am a nauseous sinner. And I'm here letting my brother, Prince of Ghost, Air Max, come in through the window. I guess he doesn't want to. My brother, Prince and co-star Samuel, is here. My sister, Princess and co-star Elsie, is in the living room. She did not want to go out. My brother, Prince and co-star Maxie, or Mikey, went out, but came right back in. And I think that's him. My brother, Prince and co-star Sullivan, is in the house. He went outside and came right back in also. Kind of breezy out there, kind of cool. A little frost on the pumpkin. The deer were in the yard last night eating. There's deer turds out there and there was no seed or no cracked corn, so I went out and threw out more cracked corn. I brewed a cup pot of coffee and had one cup so far. The colors are just awesome and I am sitting here marveling at them. And enjoying the warmth of some wool blankets and a down comforter. And my puppy, my puppy, my little brother, Prince and Co-Star Samuel. Maxie no longer has to take his medication. Well, we gotta get Sammy his pill. Big doings today, hey. And I don't want to go to work. I do not want to go to work. I'm scheduled for a 2-7 to seven shift today, but I just don't want to do it. I want to spend the daylight hours with these loves and go for a bike ride. There's Sad Sullivan. There's Sad Sullivan. These days are like gold to me. And I got myself in a situation, and here I am going and having to wait on people that I just can't do it. Don't I can do it. I don't want to. And it's like, why do I do that to myself? I must hate myself. But right now, I'll just try to get back into this moment and stay focused on this. Look at this little guy, because he loves me. And this is what I like. And my time left on this planet is too short to have to go fucking around with my fellow inhabitants of this creation. The ones I don't want to spend time with. All for a paycheck. Why? I don't know. I don't know. But them colors are spectacular. Let's focus back on that. some city chickens flying over. I don't know if we got them in there or not. Oh boy, let's take a break. Welcome back, and I don't mean that at all. I'm still sitting here with my brother, Prince and co-star Samuel, and I love him. He loves me. Sully's over there looking out the window, looking at Max. Now let's do a, a quick recap from yesterday what I can remember anyway. I do recall going and visiting Bernice. I biked over to Turning Brook and visited Bernice on there. I took her a loaf of bread. And after that I pedaled up north on US 23 to Weiss Road to Muscle Road. I think I took that to Bloom Road to Long Lake Road and pedaled back to town, stopped at Dollar General and picked up some dish soap and came home and ate some lentil soup and hung out with the loves, watched a movie called Angel Heart, read to the cats and went to bed and here we are. Pedaled about 18.4 miles according to my projections on looking at maps. I'd like to go do more of that today, but I don't know. Not when I gotta work in the afternoon. <laughs> I don't have to do anything but die. Oh boy. But yeah, I don't know. We're back again. Maxie's back. Nikki. 
I don't notice it as much because I see him every day, but his hair is growing back on his nose. And I'm hoping that it'll get back to being its regular self. Where are you off to, Mackie? You going to have some breakfast? There's something I noticed about him a while ago, and I just forget to mention, but his voice changed, and I noticed a lot of my sweet loves over the years. Seiji's voice changed, and Stewie's, and you tell that to the vets, and it don't seem to mean nothing to them, but there is a, there is a change in his voice over the last couple months. There's that Sullivan. There's that Sullivan. Yeah. So anyway. Oh, we went to Marine Market yesterday, too. More excitement from yesterday. We drove over to Marine Market, picked up some eggs and some German bologna. Stopped at Tractor Supply and got some cat litter for the litter boxes and refilled three of those. There's neighbor slash cousin John going by out there. The city chickens are landing on the service line. Oh boy. My lungs hurt today. My feet hurt. A twinge in my shoulder. Nothing new there. Here comes that Mackie again. Looks like he had a couple bites of food. Come on, Mackie. Come on, Mackie. Seth Sullivan. There's a really disturbing. There was a really disturbing article in yesterday's local newspaper about a couple who killed a two-year-old kid in July. And it just sickens me. And what what the, what they did to that poor child is enough. You know, the the horror that people commit on one another is you can't make up, and it's far worse than any movie or play or book that people can make up. It's just, you can't make this shit up. And I don't even want to go into the details, but what makes people do stuff like that? I ain't the biggest fan of children, but I don't know. Who could do something like that man did? And I recall at the time, you know, the, 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 the child suffered for two days before they brought her into the emergency room, already dead. And he was arrested when he was finally caught. And it looks like he had the bit shit beat out of him before he was arrested. I don't know if the cops did that. I, I think it was people that lived out in that area. I don't know for sure. And a rumor of a, a customer at the store when it happened told me that they wanted to lynch the guy, the people that lived down there. But anyway, what was I going to say? Ah, oh, shit. Brain fart. Let me pause. Oh, yeah, I remember now. His big concern was I think he had a job interview and he wanted to get out on bail. <laughs> no remorse for killing a baby, killing a toddler. Had to get to his job interview and wanted to get out on bail. I don't even know why they're wasting time incarcerating him and feeding him. Whatever whatever they do to end his life on this planet, they can't do quick enough as far as I'm concerned. Anybody whose primary mission in life is causing harm and pain and rape and murder to others, injury, the brutes, can't can't get rid of them quick enough. There's too many people on the planet and I'm afraid I just had the re realization and it's probably been for a long time. The brutes have taken over and have been running this planet for a long, long time. Well, the city chickens are feeding. Becky's still sitting here nice. Sally's over by the heater. Mikey, Sam, and Elsa are all inside. And so I think that's all I got for this morning. So from the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, burdened, bloody, 
empty, hollow, forsaken, shattered, and forlorn soul. Piss off. Happy Friday and thanks for not tuning in.